I'm not in Indiana and I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. If you are a saltwater fisherman and you target snook, redfish, sea trout, or any type of inshore species on artificials, help a brother out. Watch this video and tell me, do I have, am I in the ballpark or am I, do I have no idea what I'm talking about? Hey guys, thanks a lot for clicking on the video. I'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet as possible. I'm in Reddington Shores, Florida. I'm on vacation with my family. The beach is right there and there's some good stuff out there. I've got a, I've got a pier to the north of me. I've got some rocks to the south of me and um, I'm just waiting for the tides to cooperate. I'm fishing nothing but artificial lures and I'm gonna target snook, sea trout, redfish. Now I've never caught a sea trout, I've never caught a redfish. I've caught snook before, but never on artificials. I've picked up some baits, I've brought some baits from home and I've picked up some new baits. This is what I'm thinking is gonna work in my head and I'm curious to know uh, from the more experienced anglers out there, am I in the ballpark or am I, am I just, you know, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Top of the water column. You can't really go wrong with a Zero Spook or a Super Spook. Both saltwater additions, both one knockers, different colors, got a bone, got a red head. These guys get bit. And one more top water bait. Yo Zuri, top knock pencil. Pretty cool little bait, check this out. It's like three and a half inch, four inch, five eighths of an ounce, saltwater hardware, and that prism finish. This color is like called IU. You guys use these, do these work? You know, when I was a kid, saltwater fishing quite a bit. Mirror lure was really, really popular. I believe they still are. This is uh, this is something that I found. I've joined Carl's Club to, to save some money on some reels and stuff. And I ended up buying like six lures for 38 cents. We'll talk about that later video. Anyway, guys, saltwater guys, dudes, does this work? Do you guys use this? Do these produce? Let me know. Let's get subsurface. So this is the twitch bait. It's kind of like a jerk bait, but it doesn't suspend. It's a slow sink. Again, this is like real mullet. That color is, is just awesome. Good hardware, makes noise, and you twitch it, twitch, 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 twitch. Uh, again, this is, this is the kind of mirror lure that I was using way back in the day, but I'm curious to know, are you guys getting bit on this? And then we also have the Ozuri Minnows. Similar profile and size, but it's just a, it's a lipped bait. So I would imagine you can, you know, crank and retrieve, stop and go, and, and probably able to cover water pretty quickly. Why Ozuri, Greg? Why'd you go that direction? Well, last year at this time, we were in Florida Keys, and a buddy of mine came to stay with us for part of the vacation, Matt Carmen. He brought me a Ozuri lure. Other than this, I've owned one Yozuri lure in my life, and I used it for bass fishing before I moved to the Midwest a long time ago. Uh, I actually gave it to my girlfriend, Lisa, my wife. She was my girlfriend at the time, and we went bass fishing, and she whooped me on it. It was similar in profile to this, but a little smaller. Anyway, we had this in the Keys last year, and we were uh, we were fishing offshore with it, and I, this, this guy caught this fish. So I figured, why not? It produced for me in the Keys. Let's see if it can produce for me on this fishcation. So we've got this guy from Yozuri as well. Help cover the, the water column. This guy dives to about eight foot. So I need some deeper water. Um, I've had this guy for quite some time. This is a Rapala. This color pattern is similar to like a cigar minnow or a smelt, wherever you grew up from. Um, but again, good hardware, hard knock, weight transfer system. So. That's something that we're looking at covering the, the middle of the water column with. Uh, we've also brought some swim baits. Uh, these are some bass swim baits from Bass Pro Shops, the XS Swimmer. I just need to get some hardware for them. But that kind of looks like a lot of the bait fish that we catch up here, and you can't really go wrong with Bone Pearl. Berkeley Juke. I don't use this uh, up, in, up in my waters. I figure put some saltwater hardware on it and give it a shot. We picked up some some soft plastic jerk baits by Z-Man. Baby bass pattern looks a lot like some of the bait fish that are around here. And uh, some of the scented, scented paddlers, I don't know, swim bait. Got it rigged on the Z-Man, on some of the Z-Man hardware. You guys catching fish on these, I, I'm thinking that that might be a little too big of a, of a, 
of a bait? I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments. Am I, do I have any idea what I'm talking about or am I just crazy? Only other thing that I've picked up are some shrimp. And these are also Z-Man products. These are called Easy Shrimps. Uh, so we've got this rigged weedless. And we've also got one of these guys. And this is comes pre-rigged. But anyway, you know, if you're around some rocks or some grass, cast this out and retrieve it slow, hopping around the bottom. Uh, other than that, I picked up something from Savage Gear. I saw it at Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's, and I really couldn't help myself. It's called a sand eel. Don't think I'll get caught on it, can't catch anything on it, but we'll give it a shot. It's got that 90-degree line tie, so I don't know. I'm hoping that uh, it's it. you're going to be able to cover water with it. I'm wondering if I can... Retrieve it kind of like a gotcha plug if it's going to skip through the water like that. That's a gotcha plug if you're not familiar with it. Am I in the ballpark? Am I going to catch fish on this? Let me know down in the comments or do I have absolutely no clue what I'm talking about? Getting ready to go fishing in the morning. We're going to do a little sunrise session. There were birds out there going crazy this morning and uh, hopefully we can get on some fish. I'm going to hit the bed. Thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you guys soon.